Hi everybody, welcome to the OAG RC. I thought I would have a break from all of the TTO2 uh, speedrun videos um, because we're well overdue a look at how the TTO2B performs on its new wheels. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd just go and have a blast around the track this evening with this. The Altered Raceway is in a sorry state. So this is between match seven and match eight and the track has not had much love you'll see when we get up there so i've been spending some time mowing it and clearing it off and the best way to clear it off is to run a pack through it on a car that's four-wheel drive and it just churns it up a little bit so i've been going to do that we've got some friends coming around later this week uh, with some little boys uh, and they want to have a race on the track as well. So we're going to take a couple of buggers up there and race with them. That should break everything up nicely for me, ready for round uh, one, match eight, which is the ultimate versus the TD2, which I think is the best matchup in round one. It's not why it's ended up waiting till the end. It waited till the end because I hadn't finished building the ultimate. But I really can't wait to see how those two go. That's a sort of brand new two-wheel drive versus a really old-school two-wheel drive. I haven't even driven the Ultimate yet, but it just looks and feels like it's going to be awesome. And you know I love my TD2. Anyway, less about that. Let's go and drive this. So interestingly, it's actually slightly slower around the track. Now, I don't know if that's because when I did put the time on it, um, I'd already been blasting it around for a good, I don't know, 10 minutes perhaps before I decided to time it. So maybe you could argue that it was my fault. Um, however, what I would say is it certainly handles the bumps a lot better. Um, in fact, so well that when it went over, at one point it jumped over some of the uh, uh, tubing. And when it jumped over the tubing, it just like cleared it. It like, lifted the front wheels, hit it, it just jumped over and carried on. So the ground clearance it's now got was before it just smashed straight into the front bumper. It's given it quite a, a lot more capability, I think is the right word. And I think it actually slightly handles even better. Now that might be because it was, as you can see by the mud on the wheels, it was slightly damp up there, which I hadn't expected actually. Um, I thought it'd be quite dry because we've had a couple of good days of uh, dry weather, but it was a little bit damp. So I'm glad that I haven't been up and run anything else up there at the moment. Um, so all in all, I think those wheels uh, and those tires are a decent upgrade to your TT02B. Um, and if you are looking to improve your TTO2B, I suggest you go out and you grab a couple of those and it will sort you right out. What's next for this? Well, we've got some shocks to put on it next, some carbon damper uh, stays as well, but I'm not going to be doing that until the winter, I think. This is going to go back on the shelf now, it, unless you vote for it in the redemption race. I hadn't thought that I was giving you guys sneaky heads up information before you do your redemption vote oh man i hadn't thought of that oh well it is what it is now um yeah have a think about that because you know both of this and the uh dto sorry dfo3 are both running similar tires now 
uh, and similar wheels. In fact, yeah, that's I think a slightly update, updated tread, perhaps. But they're very, very similar, aren't they? Very similar. Yeah, make of that what you will. Which one would you prefer in the Redemption? Or would you rather I sort the Cougar out and give that another rip? Um, or it'd be one of the other two, which we don't know who that's going to be yet, so you can't vote on that. But, uh, yeah, options, decisions, decisions. Which way will you go? I don't know what I'd vote for, but I'm not going to tell you that until I put the vote up. Right, that's enough waffle. That's enough from me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I haven't asked you guys to do this for a while, but if any of you is watching and you don't subscribe to the channel, please consider doing so. Um, and I will see you all next week for some more Orchard Raceway action and potentially some more TTO2 tri time trial action. Um, although I am waiting on an ESC for that at the moment. I think the ESC has been slowing down my progress and limiting the speed, I think. Don't know for definite. Right, enough for me. See you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.